Hi everyone, I've just been doing this mask here. It's something you can do for a Halloween party if you don't want to buy any costumes, outfits, accessories, anything like that. You can just do this with makeup and face paint. And yeah, I've used some stick-on jewels as well. So you could use them or you could just use glitter or nothing. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead now and show you how I did it. I'm going to start with moisturising my face with this All 8 Essentials Moisturiser. I'm using MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NC25 and a Sigma Foundation Brush and I'm going to go ahead and apply the foundation all over my face. The foundation I'm using is slightly lighter than my skin tone just because I want to go for that sort of look in this video. Using a Sigma Concealer Brush and this Ben Nye Concealer Palette, I'm going to go ahead and use this blue neutralizer colour here and I'm going to apply that to my under eye area where I've got a bluey purpley tinge to my dark circles. This concealer has orange undertones so it will neutralize that blue color. It won't conceal it but it just neutralizes it so when I apply my concealer it gives the skin a flawless finish. So I'm using this yellow based concealer just because I have yellow undertones in my skin and I'm applying that over the blue neutralizer just to conceal that area. Next I'm taking this green concealer here. This will neutralize any red I have on my face. So the sides of my nose and my cheeks tend to be quite red. So I'm just going to use the same concealer brush and apply that to those areas just to neutralize. Again, not to conceal, just neutralize the redness in my skin. And I'm going to go over it using the same yellow based concealer that I used under my eyes. Using a MAC Prep and Prime Finishing Powder and a Real Techniques Powder Brush, I'm going to set my foundation and concealer. I'm going to moisturise my lips, ready for some lipstick later. Using this white eyeliner pencil by L'Oreal in China White, I'm going to go ahead and outline the shape of the mask on my face. The reason I chose a really light white eyeliner pencil to outline the shape of the mask is because if you make any mistakes, you can just take your foundation brush and go over that with just the foundation that's left over from when you applied it to your face and then correct any mistakes. I'm outlining around my eyes now where the eye holes of the mask will be. I'm using this Creolon Aquacolor Face and Body Paint Palette. The Aquacolor palettes require that you add water to the body and face paint just a slight amount on the brush dip the brush in and then dip it into the face paint i'm using this silver color here it just comes with this plastic casing which i always reapply to protect the paints i have some water in this hello kitty spray bottle so i'm going to screw the top off and dip this sigma large shader brush into it as i apply the silver to my face the Hello Kitty bottle was from eBay for anyone who wants to know. It cost me about £3 from China. That was with postage and packing as well, so it was a bargain. I just couldn't resist it when I saw it because I love Hello Kitty. And you can put anything in there, really. You can put some maybe body um, spray, you know, the liquid body mist or a hair product. Anything you want, really, or even just water. I'm just building up that silver colour of the mask. I'm applying it within the area that I outlined for the mask and I'm making sure I avoid the eye hole area as well. And I'm really packing it on to my eyebrows just to conceal them so they're not visible and it really does look like a mask on your face. Okay, I think I'm just about done now with the silver so I'm going to move on to outlining the mask. I'm going to use this black colour in this Makeup Forever Flash Palette and the Sigma Eyeliner Brush and I'm going to go ahead and apply that around the mask starting with the eye holes just very gently apply that black colour to outline it. I'm now starting to do patterns on the mask and I haven't designed this, I'm just doing it as I go along. So you can do absolutely anything you want and just do like swirly patterns or flowers or you know anything that you like really. I've mainly done swirly patterns with some dots and curling them round as well. I've also tried to do them quite symmetrical on both sides of my face. Though it's not 100% symmetrical, you know it's absolutely fine, it still looks okay. Next I'm taking these black rhinestone stick-on gems and I'm just going to apply them to the lower half of the mask. 
and I'm using this black eyeliner by Sleek and I'm just going to dab a little dot in between each of the gems just to make them more seamless with each other so it looks like a mask and you can't see gaps in between. Okay, I'm done with applying the gems to the lower half of my mask and now I'm going to apply black liquid eyeliner to outline the top of the mask and I'm just going to build that up slowly. I'm doing a pattern coming out of the mask onto my forehead. I attempted to do both sides symmetrical but it went wrong, it didn't work so I ended up having to basically put some foundation over some of it, start again and it's not symmetrical but I quite like it, I think it's turned out alright. And that's the mask done, now I'm going to move on to the eyes, so I'm using the Naked Palette 1 and I'm using this gunmetal colour here and I'm going to apply that all over my eyelid. I quite like this colour because it's got a silvery tinge to it, like a bluey silvery tinge, so I think it'll look nice with the silver of the mask. I'm going to use this darker colour here, Creep, just to apply that to the outer corner of my eye to give it more depth. And I'm applying Virgin to the inner corner just to highlight that area slightly and I'm also applying it above the gunmetal and the Creep colour. Not quite the brow bone because the brow bone's concealed by the mask but just below that. Using this black sleek eyeliner, I'm going to line my upper lash line and I'm going to do a little flick at the end. And I'm also going to line my lower lash line only three quarters of the way and I'm going to do another little flick, but this way angling the flick down so there's two little flicks at the outer corner of my eye. I've applied false lashes and now I'm applying this Black Barry M mascara to my upper and lower lashes and using this black eyeliner by Urban Decay in Perversion I'm going to line my upper and lower water lines. Using this light dusty pink blusher by MAC in Well Dressed and this Real Techniques blusher brush I'm going to apply some of that blusher to the apples on my cheeks and lightly sweep it up my cheekbones. I'm using this red lipstick from this Japanese lipstick palette that I created. It's called Ravishing Red and it's by Avon. First I'm going to line my lips with Cherry Lip Liner by MAC. And then using this Sigma Lip Brush, I'm going to apply that Ravishing Red lipstick by Avon all over my lips. With the Cupid's bow area of my lips, I'm trying to go for a heart-shaped look because I think it will be perfect with this colour lipstick. And that's it, this is the finished look. Thank you for watching, bye!